The first autonomous electric shuttle vehicle in the country was launched amid much fanfare at Christchurch Airport. Today, the, th the pre-programmed driverless vehicle will eventually transport passengers in their bags around the airport in Christchurch. But for the next two years, believe it or not, it will be test-driven on a private airport road. Here's Conan Young on the tarmac. We're now witnessing the uh, autonomous vehicle. Uh, sits, seats 15 passengers. Uh, and uh, it, it doesn't have a driver. So you'll see, as I come up to the vehicle here, that there are passenger seats all the way around here, all the way around, but no space for a driver because it doesn't have one. So if I just come back again, you can have a look. It's um, quite a dinky little thing. Uh, it's, it doesn't take petrol. It's uh, an electric vehicle. The uh, Navia, and there you have it. This is uh, the future, apparently. This is going to be transporting passengers and baggage around the airport, but not for some time yet. So it's going to be tested for the next uh, several years, they're saying, before they let it loose around the airport. But uh, yeah, quite incredible. It's uh, wait till you see this thing moving. It's quite eerie, actually, just to see something moving without a driver on board. So. Yeah, there you go. Colin, are they? Are you allowed to be a passenger? Are they going to let you on board? Uh, no, unfortunately, John, uh, not today. Uh, media not allowed on the vehicle. However, the dignitaries uh, were allowed to have a ride. <laughs> so look, uh, a host of dignitaries, including the Mayor, Leanne Dalzell, and the Minister of uh, Transport, Simon Bridges, got to have a ride on the autonomous vehicle today and uh, had a nice drive around the uh, what is actually normally a, the landing strip for aircraft but uh, today is the, the testing venue for this uh, new piece of technology. The Mayor Leanne Dalzell, uh, Councillor Vicky Buck who's been a long time proponent of these uh, driverless vehicles and uh, the Minister of Transport Simon Bridges all uh, got to have a go on the driverless vehicle today and they uh, spoke to us afterwards about what it was like. I accidentally start, touched the Xbox control here, which is the emergency stop. <laughs> That's why it stopped out there. Somebody was in the cone thing, so it stopped out there. Um, you feel incredibly safe. It's really, really exciting. So, yeah, way, way cool. Yeah. <laughs> Very exciting. You know why it stopped back there? So it wasn't programmed to stop. It's programmed to stop here, but the reason it stopped just there was because the media were had their cameras so close. So actually you got a real life demonstration of how safe it is in terms of judging whether there's something in front of it. So it, it was an unprogrammed stop. I think the, um, I think Vicky Buck has explained the previous um, uh, un, unplanned stop. Because but that was that was because she touched something. <laughs> the Xbox control, I mean, really? So what did it feel like? It was amazing and I thought that the best part of the demonstration was going through the cones because there you could see the effect of the pre-program um, uh, going through and, and actually meeting every single target. So it was just brilliant. So Minister, much. how did you feel? Yeah, look, I think it's an amazing experience. I think that the precision, just the ability to, you know, turn very tightly and do things on a pre-programmed basis. But then secondly, the way it um, quite clearly can react to the circumstances. So when one of the journalists was out a bit more than they should have been, um, you know, it stopped on the, um, you know, on the head of a dime. So it's very impressive technology and you can sort of see um, why this is um, just going to grow and grow and be more and more part of our future. Any nerves there from anybody? None. Um, None. I, I, only when I learned Vicky was playing around with the control panel. <laughs> Before that, I was rock solid. No, I mean, you, you, you feel very safe. And, and I mean, what's amazing, actually, even though there's no steering wheel and no one's sort of doing anything, um, how quickly you just um, get into a conversation, you forget that... Um, Unlike every other journey you've ever done before, there's no one driving this yeah. thing. No one human anyway. Yeah. Well, there's no front and there's no back. You know, that's the first thing that you notice is that this is not a, a, a normal ve vehicle, but it is the, absolutely the way of the future. This is what's coming. The way of the future. Leanne Dalzell on the way of the future. Before that, Simon Bridges, they were talking to Conan Young.